Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video where we're gonna be using MRTK just like I did on the previous video with iOS. But this time I wanna show you how it runs with AR Core and Android because I know many of you had issues with it so I wanna show you how it works. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you how MRTK works and runs on AR Core. So you guys can see that I'm, that I'm projecting now. And if I move my phone, everything, you know, everything is working well. So right now there's a pointer in the center of the screen that is doing the selection. And this demo has different, you know, different selection on the bounding box. So I could, you know, if I wanted to move this, I could move it. If I wanted to resize it, I could resize it. There's also indicators on the edges that I could actually rotate it and also resize it. Like this one right here has, you know, the indicators that I can that I can just select and then allows me to either resize it or rotate on every single one of the axes. There's another one too that I could move up and down. This one doesn't have any bounding box, but it just shows you that you can also do a different selection. There's also a little you know, UI floating and I could either ping it or not ping it. So if I select it, you're gonna, you're gonna see that I can, it's basically gonna follow me. So what I could do is I could also hide the profile if I don't wanna see the profile and then the UI, it's going to follow me everywhere I go. So let's go ahead and do, try to do a different selection on this other box. You can see the edges on the top. So that allows me to, you know, do rotation on that axis. So if I wanna do, you know, perhaps rotation on this other axis, I, all I can do is, you know, do selection as well. So everything works well on AR Core. So let me jump into Unity and show you what settings we need to change. All right guys, so this is a scene that I just built and show you how it was running on AR Core. And on the previous video, make sure you watch that video because I walk you through some of the changes that you need to make. Just as a reminder, what we did is we actually changed some of the profile settings that I had to do on the camera. So we're not gonna go through that because we already did that, but what I wanna show you that you need to do is we're gonna go into Window and then Package Manager. The only thing that we really need to do is just change the package that we're gonna be installing. So if you look at it, I'm already searching for AR Core. So I could do that again. So if I do an AR Core search, you're gonna see that we have an AR Core XR plugin, just like I did with the AR, AR Kit plugin. So if I do AR Kit, this will be the one that you do for iOS, but for AR Core, just make sure you search for that. And then the version that you're going to be installing, it's in the package. So let me just double check to make sure that I have the right version. So the version that you're going to install is going to be version 2.1.2. That's actually gonna be the same version that you do on iOS. So if you look in here, there's many versions. So 2.1.2, it's going to be the one that you get installed. So that's going to be the first thing that you do. So once you get it installed, all you need to do is you need to do one more change. So we're gonna go into file and then build settings. And make sure you have this scene as the one selected that you're going to be building, which is the one that I have right now. But there's another thing that you need to do. I already done this just to save you some time, but in the previous video, we changed the platform to iOS. In this video, you have to, if you wanna do Android, you're gonna change the platform to Android. Another change that you need to also make, go into player settings. You're also going to go into the, make sure you go into the, the Android player settings. And in the Android player, player settings, you're gonna find different graphics API. If you wanna build to Android, the Volcam API is currently not supported. So make sure that you remove that. Once you remove that, just, just gonna go ahead and select the minimum API that you're going to be. I believe I actually did 8.0 and I did 8.0, I did the OpenGL ES3 and then I just basically just created a build and then that's what you see in the video playing at the beginning. So this is a very short video, but if you guys have any other questions about this, I, you know, I can testify that this works well on both on Android and iOS. So that's everything that I wanted to cover today, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. If you have any questions about MRTK, please let me know in the comments. And also be sure to check out my patreon.com site where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.